Okay, so now we have the, the channels uh, set up. All the channels that we want. We have the correct settings. It's time to put this to your radio. But before we do that, we make a backup of this setup. So in the future, if anything goes wrong, you can just use this image to recreate your radio. We do file, save as. Make sure that you rename it into a different file name than the, the save or the image that you have created in step two, because otherwise you might lose that old setup. I'm not sure if you're gonna need it, but anyway, to be on the safe side, just give it a different name, save it, and now we can upload it. Choose radio, upload to radio. You see now you get the same screen, uh, pop-up screen that you get when you uh, do the download, uh, except that you cannot change the vendor or the model, only the USB port. But uh, the cable is still in the same USB port, so we can just press OK. Again, you get instructions uh, what to do. You can choose to ignore it in the future, but for a reminder, it's, uh, it's OK. Press OK, and then you see it starts cloning again, in this case then uploading it to your radio, and also your radio will have a nice uh, blinking LED indicating that uh, something is going on. So when it's done, it will um, turn off and turn on your radio again with the new setup. 